Hello everyone, this is William here, and welcome back to the World Trains video. Today we're doing Minecraft again, and this will be a first Minecraft tutorial. And it's been questioned by from reviewing Union Pacific Baldwin Centipede, and a saying, tutorial please. So I guess I'm going to do the Union Pacific Vision Line Baldwin Centipede. So anyways, and today we're going to build is the... Union Pacific Vision Line Baldwin Centipede and this is the base stuff from the Union Pacific Railroad what it looked like and I just copied from this train from my own videos so it just a little look like from the older one before I did this video from reviewing from this and actually they look just like what I copied from this one alright first scene to put the block on the on this sign here put the well, f two out of two on the blocks to make the first wheels, truck wheels. And the other side too. And you need to put uh, seven wheels on the side. And, and make like a giant wheels. Sorry about that. And we can still continue this. You can do the other side is because it's exactly the same. And four of them in the end of the train. The wheels. Alright, so we did all the wheels now. Alright, next you need to put a stone slam right above the wheel right here and fill it up on the middle the whole thing and that's it and put on the, the between the wheels and the you could put in the middle just put all of them and then put one wheel in here so enough and you could do the other side the same thing. Alright, and put a slam outside the windows of three block wide. And put in the middle. And stop right there. And here. And four of them in the front. And then you could fill up other side. The same thing. Like that, and we actually did already. In the back, we need to put this block here, three block wide, and two of them on the side to side. Like that, and in the front, um, you need to put a uh, three block wide and two of them one block side, and put two of them on the side to side to make like a roundish of the cow catcher and then put the same block on it here and then you need to in the middle you need to fill up the same block like that and you need to stop right here yeah I think right here yeah so enough and then we just fill up the whole thing Next, you need to put the hook on the back and the front. Uh, the sign there. Right here and there. Okay, we did the couple. We're going to do the couple now. You use the block of redstone and the booster. So put the block on inside and put the booster and make like a coupling rod. And you got to do it in the back of the train. Like that and that. And then we're going to do the slam, the same block again, to put on the top of the train, I mean the wheels, and put on the top of the wheels, and then fill the other side there, and just in case. And in the uh, other side, you're going to do the same thing. Oh, sorry. Gotta fill on the side as well, and then you do the other side again.
Okay, we got the uh the undercarriage done already. And here comes a very important part of this. Alright, so first you need to put a yellow concrete all around it. And then go to the other side. Uh so we can fill up the entire thing. And the actually there's a the important part and do not put the yellow block uh in the middle of the coupling rod and in the back because it will be a bumper in the back sometimes I make details inside and then you gotta do the side the same thing like that and we got the yellow block in here sort of and next we gotta do this same block again to fill it in and so you need to put the block slams here and then put uh, the make like a floor of the train, and then we're just a moment. Like. Okay, we got the uh, filled it in, and next we're gonna do to make a bumper using black concrete uh, here. And that's easy about this. Next, you gotta make uh, the blue wings and the red, supposed to be Union Pacific logo. So use a blue concrete and red concrete. So you need to put these two sides of it right here, and then leave that middle here, and voila. So no. And here comes a very important part. Just to give you a hint up. Just put these blocks here. And here, and we're gonna leave a letters of the using red concrete. Put them two on the middle here in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, right here, and then put one, two, uh, three, four, five uh, in the red concrete uh, letters, and then leave one here, and it will be the iron door supposed to be here. And then fill on the back of the side of the train. Sure enough, if it is. And we're gonna do it again on the other side. So there's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. And then two of them. And then I think you got right. And then you gotta fill off on the front of the train. Alright, sure enough. Uh, next, we're gonna use a red block. Uh, red uh, concrete, yeah, red concrete to make a uh, Union Pacific uh, note of it. Make like a giant letters. <laughs> Oops. And then fill it in. Alright, we got this part of this started. Alright, in top, you use a yellow concrete to use four blocks on it and put the iron door here and then fill the whole thing in here and and it will be iron door here and then fill in the back and other side you do the uh, same thing so enough alright now you did this part of it and let's move it on and first you need to put a same block and filled it in until we make it to the end and I think uh, I'll be right back just a moment okay I'm back and so I guess it's a this block here and then there and fill the whole thing like that and leave this one block here so enough and let's just move on and we're gonna use a the stone block slamp stamp uh, I don't know I can't tell and you use and make like a stairs between them and that's what it look like and you use a wooden yellow stairs to make like a headlight sticking out and I think we're gonna do the top next uh, after this all right let's move oh sorry about that we're still continuing okay let's move along and then you need to put another yellow concrete 
right here to fill out the, the tire nose and like that and and again you st we had to still continue and it will be this height here and between them and put two block wide uh, right here and then put one two and then one two three one two three and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen fifteen block uh, will be the the uh, um, I don't know well, okay so and I put two on the side there and put it right here and then filled again to the other side again and that's what it looked like all right next we're going to use a bedrock use the air vents all around to make like a air vent coming out and use the outer side as well and there we go and that's sort of okay all right next you put a black stained glass on the the windows and and it put on a side there like that and then we're going to use a yellow concrete to make like a stairs okay wrong and this is like that and put between and will be the iron door will be engine room sure enough all right next you need to put a ladder of the side of the train you need to put two on the cap and one on the the back of the door and then you need to put a another door and then another uh, two of them in the front and that's actually perfect all right next you need to put a uh, the sea lantern in there and put on the make it like a headlight on here and next part you need to put a yellow carpet and put on the side of side and fill up the nose on top like that, and this will look like. And next, you need to put a stone button. Will be the doors. Put in the middle here, and then right here, and then put another one here between them in the car, and the the back of the the train. And so, and we're gonna do the iron door next. And next, you need to put the iron door in between the doors in the cab, and then this thing as well. I hope it's right and and I put them on the outside of the door right here like a fire escape door and last but not least we in the in the back and fair enough. all right let's go in the front and now let's put some details in the cab so first you need a gray block uh, it's kind of like a stone block yes yeah, stone block and then you need to put a switches on the side to side and make a lean forward and put buttons here and put a stone block stairs make like a seat and let's go to the engine room the first part of the engine room you need to put is this block here and fill it in and right end to here and then fill out the and again on the top right here that's perfect okay let's move along and put some buttons on the bottom there all around except for uh, one right about here do not put this one here because it will open this door just put like one two three here and then other side you're gonna do a fill it in uh, uh, same thing enough and fill it in okay that's a part of the engine okay this is the toughest part put a uh, switches here so I'm gonna you need to do it so put one and then one and two or something let me go back just a moment okay I'm back it's it's one so I put one two three four five and then you skip the head and then one two three 
and skip it ahead in one, two, three, four, five, and two of them skipped one, two, and one, and then put the uh, fill it on the side there, and same thing like that. So uh, next, you use a torch, make a lighting. If you don't like monsters here, just put some torches around so in case no monsters get here. Put the lights here and here, and right about the end here. And one, two, three, four, and there we go. And there's the light of the engine. And in the cab, you need to put two lights on the side, like that. Sure enough. Next, you use a yellow concrete and put the scoop skip the, the two ahead and no put block one here so the players could go through here so put in like the above the engine so filled it in on ceiling and the same thing on the side okay we're done and so let's go to the front Next, you need to use a yellow wooden slam on the front, and sure enough, and just leave it in the front there. And next, you need to put a yellow wooden stairs on above the here, and then here and here, above here, sure enough. And you use a, another again yellow concrete to fill the, the ceiling there. Except uh, you need to put a um, right here. So put like this and that. And start off like this. And then let's move along for a few seconds. Next we're going to use a gray concrete. So to put on this here and here and here and here. And fill it in on the top of the train. Just on the side. Oops. And then we're going to do the same, exactly the same other side. Pretty good. Alright, and next part already. Let's move along. Next we're going to use a stone brick or block to fill the holes. Uh, to, I mean, filled it in. It's just filled it in. <clears throat> Sorry enough. And then right end about here. And then do the same thing our side. All right, so uh, and then the last uh, these last two of them, and there will be a funnels here. So we need a broke uh, two of them in the front, to because the tracks are the other side. So and then other one as well, like like that here. Next, we're gonna put a train track right here. And, and the other side as well. Okay. And that's it. And put another uh, gray block here. In between four of them here. And the other side will be a same thing. See? Four of them as well. And you need to put a minecart with furnace. Use four of them to make like a smoke coming out of the train. Like a power motor or something like that just put four of them on top of the train and last but not least we use a sign using number plates you could put a number plate you want just I'm just gonna put blank well because you know when the number is gonna be and put a number right on uh, behind the blue stripe here and the other side as well just above the light and in the back will be a two block wider and the other side as well like that and I think that's it yep and I think that's about it how to build a Union Pacific Vision Line Baldwin Centipede so anyways if you like this video make sure you like my videos and subscribe or the bell or I don't know which one and I hope you join the World Trains videos I'll see you next time goodbye